Long ago, in that dim and misty era of 2001, there was a game undreamed of. A game so awesome and so beloved that its fan base forgave the fact that its rule set didn't really work all that well. Five years later, they made a heroic attempt at a second edition. But instead of reaching the promised land, it generated endless arguments, countless homebrewed fixes, and hundreds of pages of errata. Suffice to say, mistakes were made. Then the sun promised to rise on a third edition, and with it, the vow of glorious rebirth. Creation would begin anew. It would have the same epic setting, but with innovative and most importantly, functional mechanics. Fans rejoiced. A Kickstarter was launched in May of 2013, raising nearly three quarters of a million dollars on Goodwill alone. Then, darkness fell. Projected to release as early as October of that same year, development was plagued by problems of every sort. The fans became increasingly frustrated at the constant delays, and a leaked beta manuscript was met with polarized responses. It wasn't until March of 2016 that the dawn finally broke on 3rd edition, years after many backers had lost faith and begun to demand their money back. But that isn't why we're here. We're here to answer the question, was it worth the wait? Let's find out. This, finally, is Exalted 3rd Edition. Exalted's setting, known simply as creation, is big. And we don't just mean geographically either. Oh, it is a vast world full of exotic locations and cultures, but that's not all. It's also a complex cosmology and history, with thousands of years worth of epic heroism, art, love, betrayal, and conflict. Warring demigods, magical cataclysms, ghostly tyrants... Fencing, fighting, true love, miracles... Doesn't sound too bad. Players take the role of the Solar Exalted, mortals infused with divine power by the highest of the gods. Thousands of years ago, their souls were forged into weapons to be used against the Primordials, cruel, tyrannical creatures who first forged creation. In reward for their victory, the gods gave them the mortal world to rule. However, their golden age began to tarnish as the Solos grew mad and corrupt. Eventually, their previously loyal subordinates rose up and slew them a sorrowful mirror of the gods' betrayal of their primordial creators. However, like the primordials before them, a solar can't be killed forever. Reincarnated into a diminished and broken world that remembers them as demonic tyrants, your characters are made more than human. They are the lawgivers of old, and they will no longer be denied. The question is, how will you change the world? Exalted 3rd Edition more or less tore the engine down to its base components and overhauled every rule. The result, while by no means perfect, is a definite improvement. The basic elements of the storyteller system are here. Attributes and abilities rated 1 to 5, one of each added together to generate a dice pool of 10 siders and counting successes. Each Solar Exalted has a cast, the aspect of the sun he or she is marked by. While these could be called the classes of the game, they're not quite so constraining. The Dawn cast are known as Peerless Warriors, for example, but any Solar can excel at fighting if they want to. Each cast leaves some wiggle room for customization. Combat has been drastically retooled for fast, furious, and cinematic battles. The new engine divides attacks into two types. Withering attacks do no actual damage, representing feints and other maneuvers designed to give the attacker the advantage. Mechanically, a successful withering attack steals initiative from the defender. Decisive attacks, however, are attacks that inflict serious injury. They cause actual health level damage based on the attacker's accumulated initiative score. Two fighters clash, maneuver, then clash again before one runs the other through. It's an innovative system, and one that avoids the rock'em sock'em robots feel of many RPG combat engines. Resource management has changed a lot as well. Each Exalt still has a pool of essence to activate their magical abilities, but now it recovers round by round instead of slowly in periods of rest. As a result, characters are never completely tapped out for long, allowing them to be the larger-than-life heroes they're clearly meant to be. The rest selling point of playing a Solar are their charms, and the Solar charm set has been completely rewritten for this edition. Not only are characters allowed more mystical powers to start, but they are given their excellencies for free. And excellency is a power that allows a Solar to spend essence for more dice. Not very interesting, but bread and butter for setting up huge feats of daring do. The downside is that there are a fair number of charms that boil down to dice tricks or esoteric manipulation of the mechanics, rather than feeling especially wondrous or magical. While this does make it feel like there are more options available, the design is a bit bloated and tends to suffer from the more-is-less conundrum. 
While artifact weapons and armor are slightly less overwhelming with the new combat system, the developers have added a wealth of flavor to them by introducing tailored charms called evocations that can be unlocked while wielding them. If you think this review is running a little long, I have to tell you that there is so much that we're glossing over. For example, there's the new streamlined social influence rules. The new, more playable version of the Great Curse. The updates to martial arts and sorcery. The... well, you get the idea. There's some impressively innovative stuff here. No wonder they took so long. Alright, so this game is so much to unpack. Where do we even start with this thing? <laughs> well, you want to start at character creation with builder with the bonus points? Uh, I ripped on that a lot. Yeah, let me go ahead and just get it out of the way. Yeah, that's um, say, say your piece. Uh, in the year 2000 and whatever this game came out, for it, in, the, in, the, in the year 2004 years late, <laughs> this there is no excuse for builder points to be used in a current edition. I don't need a crankshaft on my car now. I actually, I don't even, I don't even want gasoline in my car now. I want a battery. Whereas, you know, if you went with a better system, like say just handing out experience points, your character can hang on to some of them. Well, no, my my point is though, when you get fifty experience points, you go up to essence two. Okay. But if they give you experience points out of the gate, then they have to adjust that metric. Well, they, all they have to do is say when you have acquired fifty experience points Fair. in game. But I mean, this whole discussion, so bonus or points. Or put essence on a milestone system. Fair. The, the, the thing is, though, this bonus points, this discussion of, oh, well, they should just give you experience we, points. We've officially talked about them way longer than I wanted to, but go ahead. Okay, well, no, this, this, the, the, it, what I'm saying is it segues very nicely into another topic. Oh, sh yeah. Which is the okay. multiple types of experience points. Before we get into that, can I just, I just uh, want to say this is like way more equipment in shot than we usually have. Uh, but when we say multiple types of experience points, there's a whole, there's a whole another level of this we'll get into in a second. But oh, you get experience points for playing the game, obviously, and then you get solar, solar experience, experience points point. for playing the game just so. Yeah. Uh, by by which I mean the game just so. I like that. By which I mean by which I mean if you are a example out of the air, if you are a Twilight cast who are sorcerers and savants and. Uh, keepers of lore, you get uh, solar experience for Giant doing things. Toes. What are you doing? <laughs> you... I, it's a, it's I hate a that reference book. to first edition. I hate edition. That, the cover of that book. I'll show you so the cover much. of Savant and Sorcerer oh my God. for so first bad. edition soon. It's um, hilarious. That threw me off so much, it threw off my joke I was going to make. Oh, uh, I'm which sorry. was Savants and Sorcerers and Ladders. But oh, <laughs> Savants and Sorcerers right. and Ladders. I think the problem we have with this why is that it just one type? why bother with that? Why not just <laughs> yeah. get bonus experience for that? Right. Yeah. Solar experience why divide the mechanic? It doesn't make sense. It's a hot mess. Don't worry about yeah, it. It's, it's, like, the experience system if is... If we come off sounding confused, it's because it's a confusing system. We've read the hell out of this game. Yeah. 80% sure po Fox is wrong no, there. There's but. no possibility that, I'm wrong, uh, that we're wrong on silver. Gold and white. We'll get to that. We'll get and to that in a second. Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's also bronze. I'm, I'm okay. almost certain. If there isn't, it should tell you something that we can't remember how many types of experience points there are. I'm going to be honest. Um, I read the craft system twice, and I was like, well, I'm never, ever using this for anything. I was going to say, for our playtest, okay. Alex was going to make a crafter, and then he took the book, like, he took a look at the book and like, texted me the next day, hour. like, no, one I'm not hour. doing this. I have least. a better analogy, actually. Okay. Okay. Mass Effect Andromeda. Okay, Mass Effect. Uh, with you, with oh, your research, that's more timely. with your research, you have your um, you have your Helios research. You've got your your other. You've got your artifact, like the the remnant tech, and then you've yeah. got your Milky Way tech. Okay, and you earn each of those tech like points differently, All right. and then you use those to research. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. <laughs> well, no, what it's it literally is. no. Except I'm, there's no, not even a computer helping you deal with yeah. it. Yeah, and this is it's the thing. Just, it is tedious and complicated and bad. And all of the charms exist for no reason other than to circumvent how bad this system not, is. Not, not all of them. To be fair, not all of them, but most of them. 90, there's like, like 90 40 charms that. in that tree and 55. like 30, there's 55. There's like 55 There's like 55 and I'm tree. willing to bet that 45 50 to 50 plus. of them are just, this system is garbage, how do I get around it? You literally have to basically mass produce trivial research pro or trivial yeah. craft projects, like making a sword. Yeah. You get silver from that. 
you use silver to make more advanced craft projects, minor magical stuff. Yeah. And you use, you, you, and when you make magical stuff, you gain gold, gold experience, experience, which means that you then can make higher tier magical stuff. And eventually you get to the point where you get white experience, which you can spend on making like super powerful, wondrous or vehicles and or things. Or repairing first age wonders. Or repairing wonders. first age wonders. And, you know, it basically boils down to a system where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, did you go fight uh, an epic battle against mighty armies of, you know, the enemies of the Exalt? No, I was oh, making daggers. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, sorry, you guys wasted your time. I got to do math. It's not worth a Solar Exalted's time. Yeah. yeah. These are the heroes of creation. You know, These are the lawgivers. There they're, are millions you know. of normie mortals yeah. who can be that could be making <laughs> your nails and bending your horseshoes. Um, and I want to point out that we have been talking like we hate this game for this whole it's true. discussion. It's true. Well, there so, are a lot of flaws we have to get out first, there are. to be fair. Okay. But I think we've hit the big ones. But like we have. We I have, have one other major beef. What's that? Too many damn exalts. Stop it. Stop adding new exalts. That's true. You guys should have stopped adding new exalts, or at least think them through. Just don't do them. Just no more. Just stop doing uh, them. Well, you we, can't do that. You can't. You can't say they can't add anything to their setting. No. Well, you. you but you they've can gone add stuff to your overboard. setting, but don't add new exalts. Well, they've gone overboard <laughs> with it. That's the problem. They've gone yeah. overboard with there's it. There's too many new exalts. Um, we didn't even one... get the chance to mention. Let me let me point those. out that there is one new exalt type that is worth adding, and that's the exigence. This is a good idea, and I'm behind yeah. it. But there's they're adding two other exalt types that are completely and totally unnecessary. Three, three, at least two, maybe three. Well, there's the Gatimians, the, Gatimians, the, the liminals, liminals, and the exigents. Oh, and the the, the underwater ones. That oh, they've hinted oh, yeah. at. They, they, well, they, that they've, they've hinted, hinted that the um, the magically appearing, not even the gods know about it, undersea adventure land that's <laughs> rising to the surface. I'm sorry. Disneyland, but well, underwater. What went through my head <laughs> was a thing from uh, MST. The, you know, the, the, the kingdom that decided. The undersea kingdom for you and for me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, sorry. The, uh, the, the, uh, the, the new kingdom that not even the gods knew about who decided everything's not better down where it's wetter and they can be <laughs> part of your world. <laughs> Excellent. Um, oh, that, you know, we just shoehorned in here out of our f***ing fan fiction. Is it fanfic if it's for your own setting, though? It's not. They're people from the forum. Uh, <laughs> the developers, to be fair, the developers, they did it's a good idea. It was a good idea. Fiction. It was a good idea, in a way, to pe have people who are passionate about the game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and who but are maybe, churning out mechanical stuff. But maybe people who stuff. are professional designer, you know, people who have a background in professional design and can get the product out on time. So that people aren't waiting okay. three years for their PDFs and four years for their physical One copies. One more gripe, and that is the lack of action on this line. And, and then yeah. I swear we're going to talk you about know, good and stuff. I wanna, I I, I, and I sound like I, I don't want to blame the team on this. This team you needed know? more oversight from somebody with more experience in the industry. And Onyx Path should never have run that Kickstarter without the product being finished yep after four years you've only we've only gotten like one like thing for exalted like one little extra bit of like adventure yeah. and world and stuff like, they are still putting out stuff for mummy okay i'm sorry but that was you know those are some problems that this project has suffered so we've ban we have we have and we, we have bashed ripped, this ripped all over it and now we're gonna not do that so let me minute. just go ahead and say this is the best edition of exalted they have ever produced i believe it is the charm is. like barring craft being Except for balls garbage. Every uh -huh, other yes. charm tree is better for what Exalted is. It really is. I'll tell you what, if anybody from the Exalted team watches this, yes. I have spent all this time ripping all over it, I will just bow down and kiss every one of your asses if the Lunars are good for once. Make <laughs> the Lunars good, they're my favorite. I'm yes, a obviously. Oh, the cat came out to bother us. Yeah. Yes, obviously. So if I'm leaning weird, it's because I'm petting him yeah, so petting he stays him. quiet. <laughs> okay, but... I, mean, I so, could be throwing pillows at him. Don't throw! When you look at... They made casts matter. The um, in anima the sense, abilities are yeah. Good. The, the cast ability, all of the, the cast anima, powers, all of them are good now. Much more powerful. Yeah. Much more effective. Much more useful. The essence is better. Essence is better like, handled. Uh, the essence regenerating on the fly is yeah, much. We better. actually specifically mentioned how that was better. Yeah, I know, but brawl is now no longer garbage. It's true. I made a brawl character for our playtest. Um, it's like a oh, truck. Man. Like you, the brawl just there's a lot more brawl charms. There's a lot more variety of how you can fight with brawl. Yeah. Uh, clinch is no longer busted wide open. Yeah. 
Um, but it's still good. But it's just really cool that you can get a character that doesn't matter what weapon you pick up, you can be really cool. It doesn't matter if you don't want a weapon, you can give people the aura aura auras. We've more or less muda, muda, muda. it looks as though we've more or less seen, at least for now, seen the last of Paranoia Combat. Yeah, Paranoia Combat's um, way down. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's so like, much better in a lot of ways. Oh, and I specifically wanted to call this out. Well, well I keep talking about that real quick. I'm gonna well, let the cat out so we can go to the bathroom. In Exalted, the guy with the artifact weapon against the guy with the out the artifact weapon or armor. He won. Like, the artifact wielder is the one who won. In this, they've divided the artifact and equipment bonuses are still there. It's still advantageous to have artifact weapons and armor, but it is no longer... The way they're doing the artifact and overwhelming... Oh, evocations. Evocations? I haven't even talked about that. No, well, I just meant, like, the it's absolute the base but... core design or for the artifact weapons yeah. makes them actually balanced. That, that calculation, those modifiers are only in, uh, included in withering attacks. Oh, yeah, so yeah, the yeah, actual right. decisive attacks that kill a guy yeah, the ones that actually are based people up. on initiative, which means that a guy fighting with in martial arts, using martial arts, just, you know, kung fuing the, the enemy, is still capable of actually sealing the deal. So you're and, saying and the, guy that's a, you know, the guys that are a little bit frightening? Yes, yes, because they strike with expert timing. Yeah, that gets a, a mark in its favor. God damn it. <laughs> this serves a word for weeb for people who like White Wolf games. Goth? <laughs> the other major criticism that I have, and this is something that I really like. Yeah. What's that? Uh, I think that the... I Actually, this is mentioned in the core review. I stuck it in there. Okay. Um, I feel like the charms were built on a more is less paradigm. Uh, where I feel Kinda. like if they had way fewer charms and just individual charms did more. Yeah. Because charms kind of feel like feats and Pathfinder. Yeah. And I feel yeah, like I Exalted would be stronger if they felt like feats and 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Or some, yeah, some kind of happy so medium there. Because just, you know, there's the, that's just kind of the analogy I'm going with. Here's it doesn't the, need to exactly be What it is, is it's kind of charm, I want to say charm bloat? Yeah. They actually went so far as to give you half again more charms. Yeah, and that's really good. To select at beginning, but I think they had to because the charms, the individual charms, do so much less. And I don't even actually. Or feel not even like, less. I don't but... even feel like they did. Le they do less than they did in second edition. But I think they could stand to do more individually. Yeah, I mean, second edition didn't even give you free excellencies. So yeah. Oh, that's you something. To, that's you something. had to piss your charm slots away on dice. Adders. Also, spells. This is a long video. It's going to be a long video. It's, but it's, like, it's, it's got to be. There's just, this it's is such so a big. It's a 650 page it's book. It's so, I mean, <laughs> I mean, just we didn't even, we haven't even really touched on the setting. People are going to be like, you guys well, no, talk but about we the setting, but we just don't have part. enough room. We if haven't. you would like, I'll tell we, you what. We skimmed super hard over the setting in the review part. I'll tell you what. If you, <laughs> if you would like to see uh, another video about Exalted, because I love talking about Exalted. If you would like to see an Exalted, uh, an Exalted video where we really do t talk about the setting and the changes to it, I'm on board with that. Leave Let us know. Comment. We will um, absolutely do that me, for you. Hit me up on Twitter. I will pass it along to the scrubs who don't look at our Twitter. Those me? two. It's not, I don't look I'm at our Twitter. It's, I don't I'm look at Twitter. I'm too old for it. I don't, I missed the thing. I'm even older. I don't older, know what so. I'm doing. It's like, so there, like, I'm not good at Twitter. I like literally retweet your Twitter account all the time. Yeah, but it's you're mostly... always on there tapping out. You, you're just like, I'm bad at Twitter. I'm like, how are you bad at Twitter? You're like reblogging trans politics stuff constantly. Yeah, it's like, but that's I'm like bad at that's like a I master tweet course. Tweet only got Twitter. a handful of followers, but some of them are super cool, like Dominic Mitchell. Yeah. So, and your never-ending quest to save your undead boyfriend. I'm gonna save my undead <laughs> boyfriends, damn it! What? Uh, the, he's, he's part of a community that wants to get a show called In the Flesh renewed on oh, BBC. Oh, that. Okay, so, fair never. enough. I have oh, yeah. a lot of interests, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. My videos about them! I will! It's true. I'll do an In the Flesh video next week, okay? After I got my tea shot. Recommend the PDF? Yes. Yes. I uh, recommend the book. Mm. For completists. Yeah, be careful with it. It is quite fragile. I think that works. Yeah. Yeah. If this is, if you want a version of Exalted, this is the one that works the yeah. best. And you do, because it's an amazing setting. All right, so that's going to be it for the March edition. I know this is coming out a little bit of a day late. We, right. I did a thing and told some lies. This That's going to be it for us for March, though. This is going to be the end of our core Exalted series. We still could do some more videos on it. We'll be back uh, next month. This is actually, we're doing uh, Anim April, right? Yeah, I believe uh, we, we discussed we're going to be uh, looking at um, several Japanese games. 
Yeah. Anime so you threw, you, you threw me because I you'd never used that term. I thought I did. You never suggested that term. I like it, but you'd never suggested that yeah, term. Yeah, that's so that, uh, you know, I was like, okay, <laughs> we're going to anime Apparently April. we're doing okay. anime April. Yeah, so um, we're going to be uh, trying, we're going to try to get two out. All right, so if you want to catch that, subscribe us, hit that little stupid bell that YouTube has added in so you get notifications from us. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more stuff specifically about things in Exalted. I'm sure we could sit down and talk about each of the specific Exalted types in a Absolutely. video. Absolutely. I will um, ramble I'm sure about we Exalted could, yeah, till the cows I'm sure come we home. could sit down and talk about the setting a whole bunch. Yeah. Uh, give us a subscribe. Hit that notification. <laughs> give us a like. We worked really hard on this. <laughs> we waited so long for it, too. And... <laughs> Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and some stuff I want you guys to know about that is forthcoming. We are going to start doing a podcast where we show you our playtest games. Uh, people have asked for it, um, shockingly, and this yeah. is the solution that we found. Uh, and that's going to be a podcast. It's going to be found on our SoundCloud for right now, and that may go up to iTunes later yeah. for now. Um, some Dude. cool stuff that I want everybody to really take a look at right now. Our good friends at Dodeca System. Yeah. Um, okay. At Cobalt Pulsar Publications are currently kickstarting a new edition of their game. There's a game in this book, which I really enjoy. It's a super cool indie game. Yeah. It is. With just some really neat, fresh ideas in it. It runs all on D12s if you like uh, using those oddball dice. Yeah. By the time this goes up, you should still have a few days to hop in there. Shockingly, we never got around to reviewing it, but I guess we'll have to do an old play now because we're go. going to get those PDFs soon because I put in my 10 bucks. So I guess that's about all we have this week. Uh, thanks for sticking with us, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.